we're going to cook Fonio, and I will have an A list of sous chefs. I will ask Vindele, <laughs> Cynthia, Bill, would you be helping me with this? <laughs> we, we, are, we are going to prepare a dish that was inspired by Fonio. It's not a traditional dish because it's a hot day in New York, so we're making a salad. A, a, a fonio kale and mango salad with a ginger dressing. So I have water boiling here. Are you all ready? Yeah. Did you yes. wash your hands? Yes, three times. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you have to wash your hands. Because see, in Africa, we eat with our hands. Mm -hmm. And I'll explain you why. So here I have water boiling. Um, I should have water boiling. Okay, the, while the water is boiling, I'm going to go around and explain each one of you what you are supposed to do. We start with Bill. Your hands are clean? Oh, yeah. Okay, so this is, this is what you're going to do. So we have the kale here. So all you need to do with the kale is to tear them like about two inches. It doesn't matter the size, really. But um, you tear them, and then you're going to pour some olive oil on it. And with the olive oil, you just drizzle it. Oh, you need to open it first. Drizzle it, a little drizzle. And then you massage as you tear. You keep tearing, but you massage the leaves. It's very important, though, the massaging of the leaves. This is what is really breaking. I, I, I'm serious. That's a very important part, because it makes it tender. Otherwise, your kale is going to be too tough. So, so Bill, this is the most, probably the most important job you have here. Is you. And, and you massage all the leaves. And meanwhile here, Vindile, yes. Vindile yes, we're sure. going to, I'm sure you're familiar with mango, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is what you do. This is a mango. I heard you grow mango at your grandmother's yes, farm. Yes, do have mangoes. Awesome. So that's a chef knife. It's very sharp. So what you do is you cut the mango like this, right? Take yeah. it out. Yeah. This we can, and you're going to cut the mango about one inch. You got it? Oh, don't cut yourself, okay? <laughs> so, you got it, didn't you? Yeah. Don't, don't rush, take your time, okay? But all you want to do is cut the mango this size, this size okay? Okay. But no rushing, okay? You can do that, okay? Do cool. <laughs> and, and you put it in a, in a bowl separately. After that, it's all going to go in Bill's bowl, but once you cut it, you get it here, okay? Thank you. Okay. And you. Yes, chef. OK, so we got to rearrange this a little bit because you need some cutting space. Bill, you don't need a cutting board. Let's move Lindy with cutting board a little bit here. OK, do you mind just moving? You don't have a knife. No, she, she, does, she has a I knife. Can, yeah. share, no. can I share with Lindy? Yeah, I want to move I'll this a little bit. Side. I'm going to move this a little bit. Sorry. <laughs> OK. So, sorry, everyone. We just making it. We're adaptation. <laughs> adaptation, trying to make it as TV, but <laughs> so, here, here, I'm going to just move this here. Can I have that? Sorry. Nice. This, little, one. this little knife. Great. Okay. Voila. All right. OK, so the water is boiling. You're cutting the tomatoes in quarters. Yes. You got that. Wow, look awesome. at her. <laughs> I'm on it. And, and, and here, all I'm going to do is Add the fonio in the boiling water. About for one and a half cup, two cups of water, you add one cup of fonio. So just like rice, but even better than rice because, so I'm eyeballing it here, but because rice takes a moment, fonio takes five minutes. Not even. So while this is cooking, you know it's ready when the water is absorbed. <laughs> Let me see what my sous chefs are doing here. How are you doing, Bill? Good, good, good. I'm not looking done. beautiful. Wow, this is nice. I'm yeah, we, awesome, <laughs> awesome. Good, good, good. Yeah. So it's, it's very simple. So so this this is gonna cook in five minutes, and then once it's cooked, I'm gonna cool it off. I need a bowl to cool it off. So I'm just gonna move I'm some. You open up the questions while I do this. Sorry, I'm just going to move this so I can use this bowl. Questions. My first question, though, Bill, did you know the technique of so softening kale with olive oil prior to this? No, I'm, I'm looking forward to taking advantage of that. Okay, well done in your future kitchens. Now, we had some pre-selected questions. Some questions were sent in ahead of time. So can I have Arushi uh, with a question? Please go ahead. 
Good morning, everyone, and good morning to our very talented chefs. <laughs> Hope we get to try some for you today. <laughs> You're you going to get to try some, actually, at, for lunch. <laughs> That'll be fantastic. Yeah. I am Arushi, and I'm from an organization called Robin Hood Army, and we're working towards the goal of zero That's hunger. Great. So my question is regarding the role of women in the agriculture sector. So we heard earlier today that about half of the women are farmers, actually, and we didn't know that. It was a lesser known fact, we know that now. And we also know that there's great inequality that exists in the agriculture sector in terms of access to resources like land and seeds. So what are some of the things that you suggest we can do to ensure equitable distribution to increase the productivity of women farmers and also so that we're able to achieve our goal of zero hunger. Thank you so much. I'm going to ask Lindiwe to take that question. Before she answers, I just got to tell you that Fonio is cooked. It didn't even take five minutes. So. Fonio is ready. <laughs> Go ahead, Lindiwe. So what can we do to make things better? I think earlier on, Melinda did speak about Women are the farmers. Women should be in extension because women are in the kitchen. I'd like to see us taking more women into the science. Let's train more doctors in agriculture, and food more men systems, in the kitchen. <laughs> climate resilience, so that they are visible in leadership positions. So more researchers in the pipeline, doctoral level, postdoctoral level professors then the world will listen. Great. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank Can you. I just say, yeah. so Agnip is, wants to set up that pipeline so that, that we can have young women go all the way up to be uh, research scientists, uh, modelers, uh, and help to solve and create the innovations and, and solve these uh, challenges of climate change. Thank you. And we have these two amazing role models already in our oh, Thank you. Give them another <laughs> round of applause. So, <laughs> Aziz, where is Aziz with our second question? The questions were coming to us. Yes. Please go ahead. Good morning, everyone. Good My morning. name is Aziz Salau from Nigeria. I am the executive director and founder of Community Action for Food Security Initiative. Uh, where we are particularly about Go2, Zeronga, and Go13, climate change, and also 17, the collaboration that has to do with everything. So my question is on inclusion, young people inclusion. So uh, we've had a lot of, uh, a lot of uh, uh, problems, and now the key solution is about inclusion, and inclusion talks about including young people in everything, because when we talk about agriculture, when we talk about the food systems, it has to do from production to consumption. So how do we have young people that are actually going to be equipped when, when we have to talk about production? Processing, young people. Uh, value addition, young people. Science, young people. Inclusion, how do we, in, even when we talk about policy, we have a lot of policy that, that our, our leaders actually worked on and they see young people as beneficiary. How do we get to include young people from the process of, uh, from process of planning the policy to the process where it gets, uh, uh, it gets uh, to where it's been implemented? Because as young people, we are actually very strong, we are resilient, we are willing to follow up on everything, and we are the sustainability when it comes to making things sustainable. Because as older people, we are actually, they are actually going to go, but who are they going to leave it for? For young people. So how do we include young people in all this aspect of our food system, for sustainable food systems, not only in Africa, but worldwide? I love because Aziz's passion. Thank you so much. Get the young people involved. Chef Pierre, how do we get the young people more involved? Yeah, I think that's an excellent question. Because when you think of Africa, Africa is a continent not only that has the, the steepest growth of population, but the largest youth population. But Africa is also the continent that has, especially that Sahel region, that's mostly affected by migration. The young people are leaving those rural areas of Africa because they have no opportunities. And the way they're leaving is dramatic. You may or may not even have heard of it. It's terrible of this migration of young Africans leaving Dakar, I mean Dakar shores, to go to Spain on like dug out wooden boats because they want jobs. That's why they're taking, risking their lives to do it. Some are trying to cross the Sahara because the Sahel is right there and crossing the Sahara will take them to Morocco then to Spain because they want jobs. That's all they are looking for, jobs. So getting those people to come and work on the fields of underutilized crops 
is the solution. Then that what we need to do is to unlock the potential of those underutilized crops, potential of fonio, potential of sorghum. By integrating them in our food system, we will give jobs to those people, we will, give, we will save the, the, the biodiversity, and we will restore the soil because those crops are resilient. So Terrific. this is the one Terrific. solution to, to, to this challenge, this question. So, Chef Pierre, I think we are ready for the salad and they're ready to I taste it. We, uh, so please, they, can you they, merge they did a great together? job. You want to um, just to add <laughs> one thing to the youth one is that basically we need financing, we need tech, we need to definitely accelerate the scaling of our youth businesses and we need more collaboration across countries and continents. All the young people here in Ag, please raise your hands. We have a few, so these are the leaders, right? And we need to work with each other. So well done. Oh, you did great. Bill, I have a question for you. Um, what actions can we take now? Everyone's here saying 2030 is around the corner. Really, what actions can we take now? Well, there's a lot of energy behind climate and climate justice, which means the adaptation piece. The idea that, that you know, what that can mean concretely is having these crops uh, that are more climate resilient, avoiding the import of food so you have more resilience, uh, doing more value added to the food in Africa itself. Uh, you know, that'll give youth uh, job opportunities, get them involved uh, in an area where right now they're going straight to the cities and you know, unfortunately that there isn't often the economic opportunity there. So if we really realize the best thing to do for climate adaptation is to help these farmers, uh, and we can bring down malnutrition, which holds back uh, Africa's key resources, which is their people, uh, I think we can take that energy and, and really see dramatic gains uh, in African agriculture. Bill, I totally agree with you, because those crops have been left behind for you, we don't see it on our shelves. What we need is more investment in research, in product development, so that those crops, which we call orphan crops, are brought to the city, are brought to Europe, are brought to North America, are brought to the world. And that will take investment in research, innovation, and product development. Then they will be easier to cook, as Melinda said, and all women would want to buy that from a supermarket than in the village. Fantastic. Now we're going to taste the fonio. Okay. Who has had fonio in the audience? Who has ever had fonio? Oh, a few, a few customers yes, in the I room. Um, <laughs> who has had fonio on the stage? Bill, have you had Never. fonio? Cynthia, okay. Know, so so let, let's hear the verdict. It's not let's only nutritious, it creates jobs, it changes lives. Um, and now we're going to taste it, and all of you are going to get to taste it at lunch. And, and it's easy to cook. And it's easy to cook. So. And Fonio is just one of That's the many Asian <laughs> things. Fantastic. Please, let's give no them waste. a round of applause. No uh, uh, yeah, and, and no waste. Yeah. There's no free no waste. No and they've But there's so much more. One, two, Low glycemic index, so, you know, it's like so. Mm. Mm. What's the verdict, guys? What's, What's the, the verdict? verdict? <laughs> delicious, 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 delicious. Thank you, Chef Pierre. Thank you to our celebrity chefs.